triangle angle bisector theorem. We're at 7.4c, which means this is the third part of the lesson. I hope you saw the first two. And we have eight previous videos just for chapter 7. Triangle proportionality theorem, we talked about that in the first part of the lesson, along with the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem. We talked about two transversal proportionality corollary in 7.4b, the second part. Well, these theorems and corollary lead us to the triangle angle bisector theorem. That's why it's important to watch the two previous videos. And the triangle angle bisector theorem says an angle bisector, that's this AD, of a triangle divides the opposite side into two segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. And in geometric notation, we can write a triangle angle bisector theorem. We've got BD, this 6, over DC, the 7, is equal to AB, the 12, over AC, the 14. Remember, proportional means having the same ratio or a constant ratio, and the properties of similar triangles are based on proportion. Using the triangle angle bisector theorem, we can find RV and VT. RV is x plus 2 and VT is 2x plus 1. SV is our angle bisector. We can see that angle is congruent to that one. And using the triangle angle bisector theorem, we can write our proportion. We've got RV over VT is equal to SR over ST. We can substitute in the values. We've got X plus 2 over 2X plus 1 is equal to 10 over 14. We can do cross products property and get 14 times X plus 2 is equal to 10 times 2X plus 1. We can use the distributive property, and we get 14x plus 28 is equal to 20x plus 10. We subtract 14 from both sides and get 28 is equal to 6x plus 10. We subtract this 10 and get 18 is equal to 6x. We divide both sides by the coefficient 6 and find that 3 is equal to x. We substitute it into our expression, and rv is equal to 5, and vt is equal to 7. Now we can check our answer by substituting it into the proportion. We would have a 5 over a 7 is equal to a 10 over a 14, and that is proportional. We can even do cross products and do 5 times 14 is equal to 7 times 10, which is 70 equals 70. Okay? Let's try one last one. We're going to find CD and AD. CD is y minus 1 and AD is 2y minus 4. Using the triangle angle bisector theorem, we write our proportion. We have BC over CD is equal to AB over AD. We substitute in the amounts, the values, and we can use cross products property. We have 6 times 2y minus 4 is equal to 9 times y minus 1. We use the distributive property, and we've got 12y minus 24 is equal to 9y minus 9. We add 9 to both sides and eliminate that. We've got 12y minus 15 is equal to 9y. We subtract the 12y from both sides, and we have negative 15 equals negative 3y. We divide both sides by the coefficient negative 3, and we find that 5 is equal to y. Now we can substitute that in to the expressions, and we get cd is equal to 4, and AD is equal to 6. We can check it by putting it into our proportion, and we have 6 fourths is equal to 9 6, which means 3 halves is equal to 3 halves. And yes, that worked. All right? Our next lesson is indirect measurement and scale drawings. That's going to be 7.5a. After that, we're going to talk about similarity, perimeter, and area ratio, and we have proportional perimeters and areas theorem. That'll be 7.5's two lessons, okay? All right, I hope you were able to write down these theorems because there were quite a few of them and the corollary from this lesson. And I hope you're doing well. I'll see you next time. Bye.